<laughs> Hello! People, my name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what is? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. Hey, but yeah, my hammer made it. Texas, you drew huh? Very soon we will conquer everywhere. <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send, it's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> I go Ghana for Coco Co about any Kakra. Ah, uh, masaba mo na subi mo. Ye business na ni guso bong. Begeta business sa ye wo community moa. Chese e dromu gum. Asadan Kenya me na me kasa gana fo yendo sunia de ene comfort ya so mure business ni mo. Me si ye business si e ye begeta business abe bi abe kobi abe tumi arane. I just say me si wo ni internet no. Me si wo paycheck no. Wo di ene song. Me na ene song. Me tina wo se me ye bibi kamu na me mo henga me. Asadan Kenya me two years ni e ni anki e ni mo. E ti ni abo de we from no missy business way i feel so those of us in the diaspora need to be file tax no your bro uh, you turn and you know the file tax i feel the file your brain be me at the file yet you just a professional be our business you teachers uh taxi drivers uh just a me me who send your men can doctors lawyers bankers or be a you hear no gadgets just say i would be running business your less system now mom intimacy uh, registration a uh, refundable it's a brabe she say bb over to me a year baby because i won't know what you know number of copies a bad journey and so to me you know what i mean so don't say so bo no one can sell to me manage you are dear business never yeah what would ya i am an extra source of income me mo mudie abu ame ni me busia it's no bra me say kakre niye mumra me number ni etre wunu ni en kasa god bless us all amen I know sometimes when I see the rot in the Nigerian music industry and I talk about it, so many people who are obviously active online users and um, those who are well wishers of the industry, they see me to be coming from a certain angle that they don't like. But as a matter of fact, to us, when we see it, and it is right. We say it. Benna Boy just broke another record in London. I am full of praises for him, for whatever he is doing. Same way, when I see some of the negatives around their industry, and I mention it, I know they are often not happy about it. But what is journalism? Sometimes we even define news as that thing someone would not want it to come out. That is how sometimes we define news. And as much as I say it newsy, I'll surely come share it with our people and they will get to know when it comes out finally. That Sammy Flex was not saying anything bad after all. I know some people who start watching me, they start with high level of disagreement. Sometimes abusing me verbally and all that on YouTube. But later, they come back and say, oh, for the first time, I agree with Sammy Flex. Sometimes I see those comments and I laugh. For the first time, Sammy Flex is speaking the truth or Sammy Flex is speaking what is real. And I see those comments and I laugh. Well, I'll continue to be me. Not destroying anything, but making sure I put out the facts as they are. Over the years, or over the time that I've been following Swan brand like Ruga, I've been saying that man is indisciplined. The last time I did a story on him, once again, some people were online chasing me left, right, and center. And as to what they were looking for, I don't know. But I still want to maintain that until Ruga becomes disciplined on stage, 
until Ruga learns how to control himself when performing, one day it might not end him well. I have another thing to talk about. Stay tuned and let's talk about it. But before that, let me say thanks to Digital Rasta, Karen, who is doing my camera for me, and to Richie Flex, who is the editor and director here at Sammy Flex TV. Remember to use Tap Tap Send because that is what everybody is using, especially if you want to send money to some African countries, including my Ghana. You can also get the app on your phone. It is simple as that. Just download the Tap Tap Send app on your phone. Put in your details, your bank details, I mean, and uh, start sending money with ease. No one will go to the bank to form any queue before they will get their money. They just receive it on their phone. Quick, easy, smart way to do it. But always remember to use the promo code SAMIFLEX. The promo code SAMIFLEX will give you some extra money. And as you get the extra money, you get to enjoy more as well. Now back to business. Of course, in today's world, when it comes to new sources, all these social media platforms are new sources as well. And that is what we have been doing. If you learn journalism the analog way, they will tell you other sources of um, or other platforms as new sources. But today, social media is one of the key areas when it comes to new sources. So as journalists, when you wake up, one of the things you have to do is to try surfing around what is happening around the world. And you get everything as much as you follow the right contacts. As much as you follow the right people, you'll be getting them. I keep telling my people that, I follow people on social media not because they are so important to me, but I follow people on social media because I'm looking for content. I'm looking for contact as well. So one of the pages, one jobless boy on Twitter, a verified account, has shared a video of once again Ruga performing in Toronto, Canada. Those who have accent will say Toronto. <laughs> performing in Toronto, Canada. And... He has proven to me and to others. Because I know when I put some of these videos out, there are some concerned Nigerians who also think that really and truly, Ruga is being indecent on stage. The other day, I said, when he was touched by a lady, he got angry, got mad, dropped a microphone, left the stage. And when I saw him doing other things, some people did not agree with me. Let's see how this one also goes. So once again, in this video, Ruga's performance in Toronto, Canada, what he was seen doing, I asked myself that, you watching, what is your judgment about this? Even before I come out with my own judgment, you watching, what is your judgment about this? Would you consider this another act of indiscipline from a performer or... You still think it is okay and that Sammy Flex is only seeing the bad or the evil when it comes to Ruga's performance on stage. And here, I'm still talking about Ruga with women, Ruga with women act on stage. It has always been off. It has always been a put off. And reading some of the comments under this video, it comes out as so many people are not too cool with what he's doing. So this one, for instance, reads, Tell them see one for sexual harassment. He go learn all this Oyibo girls. Hmm. Make it go ask who. And this one also says, Until three years from now, one of them go say Ruga touch her without consent. And it goes on like that. And this one also says, Legit question to the guys. If your babe goes on stage and do this, is this grounds to end the relationship? And so many people are not happy. Now, in this video, Ruga is seen smooching ladies on stage, smashing their ass and all. In this video, Ruga is seen in offensively sexual positions, trusting into ladies left, right, and center. And I'm asking myself, what kind of performance is this, bro? You are not a porn star. You are a musician. You were supposed to hold your mic and be singing, delivering vocals for the people to enjoy you as they have been enjoying you every day. But this time round, you turn yourself into a porn star, caught ladies on stage, 
doing sex acts or whatever positions with them. I don't know, maybe you have not become a porn actor or adult teacher and anytime you want to perform on stage or anytime you're on stage performing, you have to be doing some things that are uncalled for. I saw these videos and I was asking myself, what is he looking for? Maybe one day, whatever he's looking for, he will get it. Unfortunately, he's been doing these things in most of these Western countries where feminism and um, women interest and all those things are high. He might not be doing it in my village. He might not be doing it in his village in Nigeria where someone can say, oh, let it pass. But over there, when it comes to legal issues with women and all those things, they are key and they are very threatening, career-threatening things. That is what he's been doing. I'm sure this guy has not been following the news. I'm sure this guy has not been reading around, especially these foreign footballers who have been getting into troubles and all. And interestingly, when people were talking about it and all that, he comes back to say, it is funny how these Nigeria Twitter trolls struggling to buy fuel try to spoil our fun. The fun never stops. Well, nobody intends to spoil your fun. Nobody intends to tell you what to do, but we are only telling Ruga to be responsible. We are only telling Ruga to be a responsible performer because that is the in thing. That is what we are asking for. Nobody is telling you to stop anything. We are only telling you to become a responsible performer. Now, you can see some of these videos on the screen, and I know you yourself, you are disappointed. Yes, there are some people who have agreed with me several times that when it comes to Ruger's act on stage, especially when he's performing, it has been awful. He's been doing it to a level that smacks of disrespect for women. Yes, that's how he's been doing it. To a level that smacks of disrespect for women. Now, look at what he was doing to those girls on the stage. And look at it. Of course, everybody has that thing in him. Everybody has that bad in him. But how we do it, we need to do it with a little bit of decorum. We need to do it with a little bit of decorum. We need to do it with a little bit of respect. Sometimes you see some of these things and you laugh about it. That how? How is man wasting himself on stage like this? If he's not careful... There are some brands who will not associate with him when it comes to stage performance because they know that this guy will come and on the stage when he's supposed to be singing, he'll be pressing women left, right, and center. I'm not too cool with it. I said it once. I said it twice. And today, I'm saying it for the third time that Ruga is not being disciplined on the stage. The other time, a woman touched him. He got mad, threw microphones around. But look at him. Okay, so when I did the last video on Ruga, my last video on Ruga, and I said that, oh, um, a woman touched him and he go and they said, ah, but that woman touched him. Okay, now in this video, especially the one who was in that skimpy white dress, we all saw it. The way Ruga was smashing the lady's ass on the stage. She was just smashing it like that, as if he was smashing some um, kinky. Like that, it wasn't good for the eyes, for the stage. Well, I don't want to say much. I want to leave this out there because when I say some things about Ruga, I know some of my Nigerian brothers come here to say, no, it is hatred for him. No, I don't hate him. You just saw me. You've watched another video where I was praising Bena Boy, giving him all the accolades, giving him his flowers. But when this one does not go well, I have to come back to say it. But once again, like I'm saying, I leave this to your judgment. If it is good, you know it is good. If it is not good, you know it is not good. Maybe just to show support. I know some people will just close their minds on this. Just to show support. I know some people who will just pretend like this is all right. But it is not. And we all know it. It is not. When we see evil, we should let evil come out as evil. When we see good things, we should let good things come out as good things. This one is not good for an artist of his caliber. This one is not good for an artist on a stage. It smacks of so many evil and negative things. Yet, when we say it, I know some people will not take it as such. I'll leave it here. 
We keep watching. The future is just here. Just as so many people are not happy with their comments on Twitter, I know that one day when it happens, everybody say, yeah, we were warning you. We were telling you, stop, 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 stop. But you never stop. We meet again. When we meet again here on the same platform, Sammy Flex, if it is good, we will say it. If it is bad, we will say it. Your judgment is your judgment. I'll see you in my next video. I'm out of here. Bye.